How's it going, Cake Eaters? My name is Producer Guy Phil, and we are back with some more NHL 17 content. Really quick, be sure to crush that like and subscribe button. We are on the road to 3K. We're almost halfway there. We're living on a prayer. Take my hand. We'll make it. I swear. Also, join our Discord in the link below. We chat hockey. We chat hockey cards. We chat this game. And honestly, it's just its a whole lot of fun. But today, we are going to see if Jonathan Drouin can take his new team to the Stanley Cup Final. And his team is the Montreal Canadiens. Man, what a trade. What a trade that was indeed. Sergachev for... What was it, Drew in? There was like a couple picks going the other way. What was it, a second or something along those lines? Sorry if I sound out of breath. I apparently, literally, I was just about to record this and I had to run to get a delivery from my door. And I was like, oh crap. So I'm like stuck in my like recording gear. So like my desk is in front of me. And if you don't answer the door, they'll leave like a notice. Like, yeah, you can come pick up your thing later. And I'm like, I am not about missing a notice right now. So I like sprinted like a track star and I like ran to the door and I was like, sir, I'm here. I'm here. And he's like, oh, okay. First name, last name, sign. Cool. Everything's good. Everything's Gucci, but we're good now. We are good. Really quick. Let's talk about that trade for a second. So Sergachev for Drew and let's just look at it on the one for one basis. Let's get the picks out of here for a second. Again, we touched on this, but I want to go into this a little bit more right now. You as Montreal just picked up another elite, like, young winger. A very young winger for your team. You're basically telling Carey Price, hey, we're going to get some firepower around you. We want to win a cup with you here. We want you to be here for the long term. Look what we're going to go out and do. And you're kind of sacrificing, again, another good defenseman with Sergachev. That kid is young. He's got a lot of potential. I don't know personally why you would have gotten rid of him. Like, uh, I don't know, man, but... He's going to make that Tampa decor just so strong. And it's a it's a trade where both teams win, to be honest. It's a team where both teams win because Tampa gets another young defense when they want. They kind of get a little bit of cap help. And Montreal now gets another dynamic young winger. And that's okay in my books, too. So we got Pacioretty, Galchenyuk, Radulov, Gallagher, uh, Pekanic, Druen, Dwight King, Andreas Martinson, Andrew Shaw, Michael McCarron, Philippe Dano, and Steve Ott. And on defense... We have Yemelin, Weber, Jeff Petrie, Andre Markov, Jordy Ben, and Brandon Davidson. I don't know when he came over to the Canadians. Maybe I missed that one. Oh, well. Uh, and then Annette, Carey Price, and Al Montoya. By the way, boys, the um, player protection list came out. Oh, my goodness. Names you'd expect, names you wouldn't expect. Marc-Andre Mark Fleury, of course, a name I expected. He waived his no-move clause, we found out, earlier in the season. He played through the entire playoffs knowing that he could potentially get moved to Vegas and he helped carry the Penguins to the Stanley Cup. That is so admirable in my books. I have so much more respect for Marc-Andre Fleury now than I have had in my entire life. James Neal getting exposed is an interesting one, to be honest. That's a little interesting. Uh, James Neal is a really good winger. He is a really good winger. He can score clutch goals. I mean, look at that, like, what was that? 2 nothing goal he scored in the playoffs? Oh my goodness, that one was filthy. That was the goal that, like made me in love with uh, Nashville during that entire run because it was filthy. Uh, but our team right now looks like 5-4-1, kind of faltering off a cliff a little bit here. Um, that's not too good. Another name that was interesting was Jonathan Marcheseau. Guy got 51 points this year, and Florida's not protecting him. Can't wait to see him in Vegas. He's going to look pretty good. And another name that I want to talk about right now, Ottawa Senators fans, listen up, Bobby Ryan. Now, Vegas has to get to the cap floor. I think they have to get, what, 60 to 100 or 70 to 100 of the cap. Bobby Ryan's $7 million hit just doesn't, like, justify his 7 mil, or, uh, yeah. His point production just doesn't justify his $7 million contract. I can barely speak right now. Holy jumping, boys. But it's certainly interesting because, you know, regular season wasn't too good. But in the playoffs, he elevated his game. And you know that whole uh, change of scenery thing might be good for you? Maybe that would be good for Bobby Ryan? It would help Vegas get to the cap? Who knows, man? I'm not saying, oh, like, you need to take Bobby Ryan, like, right, right now. But how do you not, like, you know, give the idea some thought? How do you not give it some thought of just, hey, maybe this guy might be all right. Maybe he'll be okay to just take, you know, like... I don't know if that's me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm giving Bobby Ryan a little bit more thought than I should have. 
Also, the goalie situation. So let's let's assume Flurry's a lock because it's pretty much a good deal. Which other two goalies do you take? Do you take Grubauer and Ranta? Do you take Ranta and Pickard? Do you take Grubauer and Pickard? Those are probably the three that I'm looking at, like Philip Grubauer, um, Calvin Pickard, and Anzi Ranta to join like Marc Andre Fleury. Take two out of those three that I just said, with Fleury being the given. I liked Anti Ranta when I saw him basically in New York and when I saw him with Chicago. I what, the only thing I don't like about him is basically how he had the uh, attitude problem to be like, oh, I wish the Blackhawks lost. Like, dude, that's your, your technically team. Like, what are you doing? And then, so he would be all right. I mean, you lost your job to freaking Scott Darling, so don't be salty, man. You know, you just didn't play well. He, he excelled. It's the game of hockey, man. Grubauer has looked decent. I, I got to see him when uh, he played uh, Toronto this year, and he was like a brick wall, man. I'm like, are you serious? Grubauer? Just a brick wall. Calvin Pickard was uh, the Team Canada goalie at the Worlds. He looked rather impressive, too. And... Let's, uh, let's not ignore this. Peter Morazic being left exposed as opposed to Jimmy Howard. Interesting. Interesting that Peter Morazic is exposed. Um, I think someone in our Discord. I'm really sorry. I'm blanking, guys. I'm really sorry. I looked at it late at night. Said it was attitude problems, maybe? So that's kind of interesting. Um, but maybe you take Morazic as well. I mean, Flurry, Morazic, and Grubauer? That's a pretty lethal core if you ask me of goalies. That's uh, that's not too bad, man. That's not too bad at all. Let's check points really quick. Shea Weber leading our team. Wow, with 58 points. 50 assists. Patch ready with 43. Or, uh, sorry, I was reading the wrong thing. 58 for Weber. 56 for Patch ready. 54 for Roger Love. 52 for Galchenyuk. 34 for Druin. All right, not bad. Shaw with 28. Martinson, 26. Buchanan, 26. Gallagher, 25. Dwight King, 23. And then it kind of drops off here. With that Davidson only getting two points. You're a legend, Davidson. That a boy. And goaltending, 2.16 for uh, Carey Price. That's excellent. 2.75 for Montoya. Could be a little better. 9.31 for Price. Fantastic. 9.10 for Montoya. Okay. Again, for backup, could be maybe a 9.20 would be all right. You know, not too shabby. Not too shabby. 33, 14, and 4. Good record so far. Let's just keep going, man. Let's just keep riding it out. Let's ride into the sun. All right, where are we? February? Cool. Let's go to the deadline. I don't want to make any trades, but honestly, dude, the hype the hype for Vegas is getting real. We're going to have a 31st NHL team. No, I do not want this trade at all. Thank you very much. Don't need it. No problem. Man, the hype's getting real. I know a lot of you are stoked for Vegas. A couple of you guys aren't, but maybe it's the euphoria of a brand new team and the fact that the expansion rules for this expansion draft are like a little like you know, more beneficial to the expansion team. Because I think, what was it before? It was like, f like protect uh, one goalie, uh, five defensemen, and nine skaters. Like, pff, that's insane. That's basically your almost main team, just protected. That is absolutely ludicrous. Now it's like one goalie, three defensemen, and like f five skaters? Oh, no, four skaters? No, five. Right? I don't know. Oh, God, I'm blanking. I'm so tired. I've on I'm honestly so tired, but... The old expansion was not, like, it was not beneficial to new expanding clubs like the Predators, like the Thrashers, like the Wild, and the Blue Jackets. But Vegas, you're coming up with, like, pretty good players that you're going to be able to take. You might be competitive for the next literally four years. And don't worry, boys. Once once Vegas picks their team and everything, I'll shut up about it. But it's the, literally, it's the talk of the NHL right now. It's a brand new team coming into our league. It is the brand new team who's going to be competitive out the door. Whew, it's exciting. It's honestly exciting. But another big thing, too, is the cap went up. I think it's up to 75 mil from 73, you know. Two mil, that uh, that kind of helps teams out a little bit. I think the only one that still kind of like hurts a bit is the Blackhawks, who are still, what, 2.5 mil over the cap. Uh, the Leafs will have to pay out a lot of bonuses this year because of the rookies, so the cap going up kind of helps a little, which, again, not too bad, not too bad. Let's check out the standings. Ottawa wins the division with 107 points. Wow, that's pretty interesting. And looks like we took one of the wildcard spots with the Bruins, the Panthers, Canadians. So it looks like we're going to face the uh, Panthers in the first round. Let's go to the Metro with the Flyers, Penguins, and Capitals. Uh, New York. And it looks like, it's a, um, it looks like uh, Buffalo is going to take the last wildcard. Let's go to the Central. Where it's Minnesota, Chicago, and Nashville, which they, they could still, I guess, flip each other right here. 
and the pacific thing wow things still aren't locked up yet that's interesting and let's check our points really quick so webs looks like he's gonna finish with uh s wow 71 assists for 82 points 74 for patch 74 for rajulov 68 for galchenek 55 for druin not bad absolutely not bad 45 for Perkanich. you might be on his way out to vegas 43 for Gallagher, 43 for Shaw, 37 for Martinson, 32 for King. All right, not too bad. Davidson, four points. You're a freaking legend, Davidson. That a boy. Price finished with 2.27. Montoya, 2.72. All right, not too bad, not too bad. 9.26, good. Good uh, good save percentage. And a 9.12 for Montoya. All right, not too shabby at all. So all in all, decent season, decent season, 48 wins. 26 uh what was that 26 losses yeah and eight uh, overtime or shootout losses i can handle that you know i can absolutely handle that that is more than fine let's just get on our way to facing florida in the first round all right can we get through act blood can we get through that squad let's see first of four games we take no we don't take we take game two. Oh, great look at that down a uh, 3-1 oh my goodness and oh all right now we're only down 3-2. Can we make this a series? We're going to make this a series, boys. Real-time sim for game seven. Oh, my goodness. We're going to make this a series. All righty. Let's go to goals times eight simulation. Here we go. I can't believe I'm going to say this. But let's go, Canadians. Radulov on Roberto Lolongo. Excellent. Excellent job, Radulov. Are they going to resign him? Wow. He was great. Bukestad ties it up at the 1033 mark. Power play for the Panthers. Can't capitalize, but I like Radulov, man. And hey, who knows? Where's Kovalchuk going to end up again? Bukestad again! Oh, that's a ball breaker with two, like, 15 left in the period. Oh, my goodness. Where's Kovalchuk? Is he going to actually come back, man? I haven't heard too much on that front for a while. Vegas has kind of been taking everything right now from what it looks like. I mean, as they should. They are the newest team, after all. Can we get another tying goal before the period's over? Yes, we can, and it's going to be Max Pacioretty! I don't know why I wanted to make so much emphasis on that. I had to, like, lean away from the mic to even say that. Here we go, boys. Period three. Mark freaking Marcius. So, Mackenzie. Oh, my God. The guy I just talked about. Florida. Oh, my God. Uh, and you're going to let this guy go. Keith Yandel. Oh, great. And the Canadians choke choke in the third period and the florida panthers are going to move on to the second freaking round are you kidding me i make that whole big thing about patch already getting the tying goal and then we just choke in the freaking oh my god well you know who probably would have helped out on defense there to help sh uh, shut down some goals probably a uh, nathan bully he might have helped out a little bit i'm just saying just saying boys also, really quick, I want to throw this out here now. I can't wait for NHL 18 because I can't wait to actually start out a lot of game modes. There's going to be a GM mode. There's going to be a, maybe a BIA Pro mode. We're going to do HUT. We're going to do like subscriber showdowns. It's going to be great. Pink slips because I'm going to collect a bunch of HUT cards. And the best thing is I'm going to try and make my team pretty competitive. But I'm going to also give away a ton of HUT cards because HUT's ideally not my uh, favorite game mode to play. And Smashville takes the cup. Wow. Good job, Smashville. Um... Like, honestly, Hut is not my game mode to play, so, you know, I'll give away some cards. All right, let's see the award. So, Nashville and Minnesota get the presidents. Nashville faced off against Flo frickin' Florida. All right. Art Ross to Ovi, Hart to Ovi, Norris to Suter, Lady Bing to Tarasenko, Winnipeg's lighting wins to Calder. Never fails. Con Smythe to P.K. Subban. Hey, here we go. Vezna to Quick, Jennings to Dubnik, Masterton to Yemelin. Oh, at least we won a trophy. Great. Selkie to Bergeron, Ted Lindsay to Ovechkin, and Maurice Richard to Ovechkin. Alexander Ovechkin just cleaned up this year. Let's check the playoff tree. Nashville, of course, beats Florida in seven games. Wow. LA makes it to the conference final. Philly does as well. Philly actually wins the Battle of Pennsylvania here. Florida beats Buffalo and then sweeps. Wow. Sweep for uh, Dallas against Minnesota and a sweep for uh, Buffalo over the Ottawa Senators. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Nashville beat Chicago in the first round again. Hmm, some things never change. All right, boys. I hope you enjoyed this video again. Let me know your thoughts on the whole Drew in Vegas thing. Basically, we had a lot to talk about. NHL awards. We might actually have, like, I guess a live conversation while the awards are going on. So be sure to join our Discord. I'm producer guy Phil. You stay classy, cake eaters. And I will see you in the next one.